Welcome back, long haulers, and anyone else who has GI issues. Um, this is going to be another video about what I am making for myself to continue to recover from having long COVID wreck my entire GI track worse than I was. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. Um, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow and so that other people can find the information um, that is, you know, so important to many of our lives at this point today <laughs> with all of the crazy things that are going on. So today I am going to go out on a limb. Like if you remember uh, the last video that I made, um, I had tried something very new that was inspired by uh, a, a restaurant that I frequent. Today I'm trying something completely new. Um, I am having swordfish for the first time and I'm going to make swordfish soup. So I am from St. Louis and it's also fall time. So in the fall time, especially in the Midwest, there are a lot of soups, a lot of stews that come about. And so we're kind of the soup, stew and barbecue capital of the country is what I've heard from places. I don't know. Maybe that's just a self-proclamation. I'm not sure. However, um, we're pretty good at making soups and stews and, and barbecue. And so today I'm going to make a swordfish soup. Um, I do make a swai soup. So this is kind of um, going to be kind of similar to what I, I would make with that. And so I do want to share with you some of the nutritional facts about that. Now, I'm not a nutritionist. I am just a person who has studied nutrition for over 20 years. And then I really tried to adopt those into my diet. And now that I have a new diet that I have to adhere to, to keep the inflammation low, um, I want to share all of that with you today. So we have the swordfish, which is rich in selenium, niacin, B12, zinc, and omega-3 amongst many other nutrients, red potatoes, are full of fiber, B vitamins, iron, and potassium, parsnips, vitamin C, E, K, B6, potassium, calcium, manganese, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, iron, and fiber. Green beans have vitamin K, A, C, calcium, folic acid, and fiber. Uh, baby portobello mushrooms are B vitamins, copper, selenium, potassium, butternut squash, uh, vitamin A, C, E, and B6, I think. Potassium, magnesium, calcium, and iron. And then the herbs that I'm going to use. So I'm really big into herbs. Um, I haven't been able to take my herbologist certification, um, but I am a firm believer in food as medicine. So if you are familiar with a documentary from... Um, the University of California, San Diego, they produced a really fantastic docu documentary about um, let food be thy medicine. So how do we heal our bodies using food? And herbs were one of the first ways that I found to heal my body as much as I potentially could, given that, you know, American lifestyle, you have an extreme amount of stress, you work a lot. Um, there are factors that are outside of your control that can come in and kind of throw a monkey wrench in your day. And so the herbs that I'm going to be using are thyme, which is good for the GI tract and respiratory issues, oregano, which is a great antiviral and antibacterial. Anytime that there's, I have any kind of bacterial infections, I actually use oregano oil instead of antibiotics. Uh, paprika is good for inflammation and cholesterol. All of this information that I'm sharing with you today is I just Googled it. So you can just Google like parsnips health benefits, and then it will give you lots of websites and a full list. There are particular doctors that I really like to follow on YouTube, which is Dr. Axe, Josh Axe, and then Dr. Eric Berg. So if you're looking for, you know, especially nutritional benefits of these specific foods, um, those are the two doctors that I really, really, really like to follow and that I get a lot of my information from that has helped me on my healing journey over the past 20 years, because 
um, the healing never stops. <laughs> it's a lifestyle for sure. So, and then I have my flax oil because I cannot have any other kind of oil right now. If you missed my other video, I have an intro, intro video about how I started to do all of this and, and why I have to eat particular foods. So if you, um, at the end there, at the end of this video, I'll have the playlist up for you all. And then you guys can tap into Tasha's long COVID kitchen playlist. And then you can kind of understand the situation that I'm in right now and me trying to battle um, the inflammation that continues to persist in my body and also to continue to reduce my long COVID symptoms, because although I've recovered for the most part, I do have relapses. And then I do have just generally, you know, sometimes the brain fog comes back. Um, and what do I do about that? I'll make a video about just kind of targeting specific things. Um, I did talk a lot about mushrooms and how it's important to support our electrical system, how it's important to have um, electrolytes consistent in our body. So you can see that a lot of the vegetables that I have here are really high in electrolytes in order to support the body's electrical system. So I'm not going to cook this on camera. I just wanted to give you um, an overview of what I would be making just in case there are other people that are out there that are kind of like, oh, what's Tasha cooking today? Or what's, you know, what's going on in, in Tasha's COVID kitchen today? And so I'm going to make this soup for, for myself for dinner. And then my kids get to have chicken <laughs> and, and the, the other vegetables. And so I'm going to have swordfish. And then um, I hope it's delicious. I can come on and I can share with you how it turned out afterwards. Welcome back. So the soup turned out so good that I started eating it before <laughs> I, I finished to tell you guys. So here's the finished product here. So um, I cooked it on low for about an hour and a half because again, you don't want the vegetables to be overcooked. You just want them to just be cooked. But I really wanted the fusion of all of the flavors and everything. So I cooked it really, really low. That's really the secret to make sure that all of the nutrients and everything are kind of infused and the flavors come out and all of that. So thanks so much for watching another one of my videos and make sure that you Join me again soon. The next video I'm going to make is vegan chili.